What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are going to build an overkill arsenal for nationals using one ball from eight different manufacturers. Since we're a neutral party, we're one of the few that can give you true cross-brand comparisons like this one, so make sure you hit that subscribe button too so you don't miss out. We've already built our arsenals sticking within each of the brands, but what would it look like if you brought one from each brand? Well, today we're gonna find out by choosing one ball that is currently in production from Hammer, Ebonite, DV8 Brunswick, Motive, Storm, Rotogrip, and 900 Global all with the hope of having the most well-rounded set of options we can put together. Remember, this is all meant for bowling on challenging conditions where choosing the right equipment can be tough. If this were an event with easier conditions, the choices would likely be different, but we need some options that control the lane and some that can generate down lane angle. But in any case, let's start it off with our choice from Hammer. There is a lot of good options to choose from, including the NV Tour, the 3D Offset Attack, and even the Widow 2.0 Hybrid. But the one that differentiates itself above all other brands is definitely the Purple Hammer. Like I said, when we built the Brunswick Arsenal, it's the best urethane on the market today. And when it's right on either side of the lane, it's pretty darn hard to beat. Speaking of Brunswick, my choice from the Big B is the all new Mindset. Across their entire line, I think this is the one that gives their best opportunity to knock all 10 over when it's right. The Knockout Bruiser was a close second, but there are so many symmetrical solid options and many fewer good solid ASIN choices. This was all about maximizing the opportunity to match up with the mindset as a situational piece in hopes it ends up being the right one. So then picking a symmetrical solid was the next decision I had to make. This one wasn't easy as when we look across all the brands, there's a ton of great options. But looking at the available options within each of the brands, to me, the DV8 Verge Solid just made sense. Even though many of the other brands offer great options, within the DV8 line, the Verge Solid gives one of the best looks, if not the best look, when compared to the others under that same brand. Then I had to round out the brands of Brunswick with my Ebonite pick. I really wanted to pick the new GB4 Hybrid as the snappy shiny option, but I haven't thrown it, so I don't actually know what it will give me. I've loved the Polaris Hybrid, but with having eight options instead of six, I wanted to go a different route and ended up picking the One Remix. This polished solid gives one of the most unique shapes across all the brands and rolls heavier than most other pieces of equipment through the pins. This is again a situational option based on how the ball gets through the pins best to get the corners out as it will actually cross well with the mindset and the next choice as the one remix will be more forward through pins. But then we need one more that will go sideways through pins. That leads me to one of my favorite releases of this season in the Black Venom from Motive. I think it's the best shaping ball that Motive has in their line today, and when paired with all of the other choices, gives a different path to the pocket and through the pins. With eight different options, having this kind of variety is just as important as the shot making that has to go with it. Now we have three choices left from Storm Products, and let's start with the one that was easiest for me in the 900 Global Eternity. I think for strong Pearl ASIMs, the Eternity is one of the best I've seen, and with all the other controllable options we have already added to the arsenal, the Eternity allows us to open up the lane and play some angle in hopes of increasing our carry percentage. Plus it's pretty, and that's always a plus. So with having the Quick Response ASIM picked out, what about a Quick Response Symmetrical option? Here's where Storm and Roto Grip absolutely excel, but even with all their great choices, I actually picked the Hyped Pearl from Roto Grip. Why this over all the others you're probably wondering? Well, in a field of Quick Response Bowling Balls, it's the quickest. I want this piece to go absolutely sideways off the spot down lane. No more compromising for the sake of control. This is the do or die option when we're hunting for a 240 game. Then lastly, we have the Storm line. With most of the corners of this arsenal already being rounded out, I went with the one I just think is their best piece and the one I really would hate to leave at home. The Storm Night Road has absolutely been a workhorse for me and makes a shape that I just simply love. The blend of the inverted FE2 core with that REX Pro cover is just a match made in heaven. And simply put, when in doubt, get the night road out. And there you have it, the ultimate free agent nationals arsenal. Would you have done it differently? And if you're headed up to Reno, what are you bringing with? Let me know in the comment section. 
Links to each of these pieces can be found in the description box. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. If you haven't yet liked this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And as always, remember you guys, having the right arsenal at Nationals, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.